Hi everyone! Welcome to another Uplift Art Class with Miss Matias! I am so excited to make more art with all of you. Today, we are going to be making bubble art trees. This requires several materials and a nice clean workspace. So how about let's just jump right in and get started. All right, so before we get started, make sure since we are working with things that could stain, you're working on top of a table and that you cover that table with newspaper or recycled paper, anything that you don't mind getting stained, all right? So I have my sheets of recycled paper here that I put on top of my table. So for materials, you're gonna need water, a sheet of paper, two bowls, dish soap, a straw, any black or brown markers, food coloring, or if you don't have food coloring, watercolor or acrylic paint will work. Alright, so first things first, we have to make our soap and water solution. So you grab your two bowls and you want to put soap in them. So I already did that, I put my dish soap in there and I did about two to three pumps for each bowl. Then you're gonna grab your water and you're just going to pour them in and then after it, stir it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So there's no specific amount, but just don't um, make it overflow, right? So that's what I have here. And then I'm going to grab my straw and I'm just going to mix it together. All right, so I finished stirring both of my water and soap solutions in my bowls. And so now, go ahead and grab your food dye, your paint, or your watercolor. So I'm just gonna use my food dye because I prefer that one more. And I'm gonna choose two different colors. So I'll choose red and I'll choose blue, all right? So let me do the blue one first. If you're using food dye, you wanna do two to three squirts, all right? So you don't need that much. A little goes a long way. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do my blue two three okay and then i'm going to do the other bowl of red one two three oh i think that was four that's all right that's all right <laughs> all right and once you have that go ahead and stir both of them all right so as you see here i have one bowl of blue and one bowl of red at this point make sure that your white sheet of paper is ready but for now I'm gonna put one of these dies to the side and I'm going to grab my straw and I'm just going to blow in here and try to make as many bubbles as possible without it overflowing. All right, so let me just show you that right now. All right, so you see here I have a bunch of bubbles from my bowl and I'm just gonna grab my paper and I'm going to set it down, all right? So now I'm just gonna wait about five seconds until I lift it up. Know that you're gonna have to do this a lot in order to get the pattern you want. Because as you see here, you don't see much, right? That means that you're gonna have to keep doing this a lot and a lot of times until you see um, the bubble pattern form. So let me just show you that. I'm gonna keep going at it, okay? All right, so I did that several times, and as you can see, there's already some bubble patterns forming. It's definitely a lot more apparent than the first time. Um, so yeah, you'll see that forming the more and more you do it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start um, doing my other color. I'm gonna switch to red, because I wanna spice it up a little, you know? All right, so I'll get back to you in a bit. All right, so I did it quite a lot of times, and honestly, I feel really happy with what I have. You see a lot of red and blue pattern bubbly patterns on them honestly there is no right or wrong way to do this you can do it as many or as little times as possible as long as you have some apparent bubbly patterns on your paper then you are good to go for the next step so at this point if you want to keep going at it and blowing more bubbles on your paper go ahead and do that but if you are ready you can put aside all your bubbly solutions and even change the paper that you're working on if it got messy and let this dry let this dry for a little bit before we can move on to drawing the tree, okay? Five minutes later. So I'm still waiting for my bubble art to dry, and I'm still deciding what kind of tree I want to draw, so let's see if I can ask for some help. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jones? 
Hi, this is Colleen actually. Um, I have a I have a question for you. Um, what's your favorite tree? Tree, tree yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. Cherry blossom tree. Cherry blossom tree? Oh, that's really nice. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> so he likes cherry blossom trees, so that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> All right, so at this point, my bubble art has fully dried and I'm ready for the next step, which is drawing the silhouette tree. You can do whatever tree you'd like, but I'm gonna try to do a cherry blossom one, just like what Mr. Jung likes. So I'm going to switch the camera to another angle so you can see me draw. To make the tree, I'm gonna start with the trunk and I'm gonna draw down to the roots. Notice how I'm just doing an outline. I'm not filling anything in, right? So I'm just going and I'm making my trunk and when I feel ready, I'm going to start doing some branches. I'm honestly just going off the top of my head, not really having a specific idea what I want to do. So when I'm done with my outline, I'm going to start filling it in, like you see here. Again, you can go any way about this. There is no one way to do this. The tree, you can add as many or as little branches as you'd like. I'm going to just keep going at it right here. All right, so this is my final look. You can keep going, add more branches as you'd like, but I'm honestly really happy with what I have. Every tree is gonna look real different, all right? And that is the beauty of this. From the bubble art to the tree, everything's gonna be different and unique, you know? And this is the final product. I'm really happy with how mine turned out, my bubble art and tree. I am even more excited though to see what awesome art all of you make all right so maybe once you're done making your own you can take a picture and have your parents share it on our upload facebook page and instagram page i am really excited to see all the different art that you guys make all right well that's it for this class thank you for tuning in and making art with miss matthias i hope to see you all make more art with me in the coming weeks all right bye everyone <laughs>